Okay. Good afternoon. It's Robert and Julia Miller with the J Patel Group and Rethink Real Estate with another exciting real estate update. Exciting and thrilling. That's right. February, I'm mean, not February. We're talking about February. January 17th. Right. Episode number uh, 107. 107. Yes, 107. Okay, moving yeah. right along. So we are titling this one, uh, What to Expect in 2023 Out of the Housing Market. That's right. We're going to um, look at a little bit of news, inflation. Uh, we got a Fed rate coming up February 1st. What do we think is going to happen there? What's happening in housing as far as buyer sentiment? Um, pricing. Uh, what is happening with consumer confidence mm. and then we're going to uh, review what um, the National Association of Realtor uh, Chief Economist Lawrence Yoon thinks uh -huh. and predicts for 2023 so we're exactly. gonna kind of go through all of that we'll also go through uh, current rates and we'll also mm -hmm. do some local inventory and uh, that will wrap it up that'll wrap it up yeah. all right Got a quick joke right. for us? I do, yeah. So the adult version of head and shoulders, knees and toes is wallet, glasses, keys, and phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. That That's is the, truth. the truth, yeah. You gotta yeah. remember all that when you're heading out the door. Wallet, keys, phone, glasses. My glasses don't hardly come off, neither do yours, so. <laughs> yeah. It's just funny. Good point. All right. Mm -hmm. You are dust. You will return to dust. That's why I don't dust. Could be somebody I know. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a good one. All right, moving on. A quick uh, little review of uh, what's happening in history this week. Okay. Uh, in 2009, January 15th, Chelsea Sully Sullenberger safely lands a jet on the Hudson River. That was amazing. He is, uh, he will go down as an American hero for pulling that stunt off. 1997, yeah. January 17th, an Irish court grants the first legal divorce in the country's history. 1997. 1997, wow. wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. 1976, the Concorde aircraft traveling at speeds nearly 1,350 mile per hour debuts January 21st. Wow. And I had to talk to Google about this because I thought, wow, if you have turbulence, won't it be like exacerbated I would think at so. that speed? And it would be, except they go to 60,000 feet. Oh, they go higher. So, much an higher. interview with one of the passengers said, "Yeah, it was one of the smoothest flights they ever had, wow. and they felt no turbulence." So that's kind of wow. cool. All right, moving on. 1967 on January 15th, Green Bay beats Kansas City 35 to 10 in the first Super Bowl. Wow. <laughs> and finally, in 1778, Captain James Cook discovers the Hawaiian Islands. Ah. January 18th. We just went to um, another part that James Cook discovered in Alaska last summer. That's right. And it was Captain James Cook. That's mm -hmm. right, in Anchorage. In Anchorage, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to a little bit of news. Uh, economic news, inflation slowing, led by a steep drop in gas prices. Okay. And this kind of threw people off because it went both ways. Mm -hmm. um, the CPI... The Consumer, Consumer Price, Price Index. Index, thank you, mm -hmm. that fell 0.1%. However, okay. the core CPI actually went up 0.3%, and that was because of shelter. Wow. Shelter wow. was at 0.8%, and that accounted for about a third of the total index. So, taking all that into account, it was actually a good number. Mm -hmm. um, that was the smallest annual increase since October 2021. Mm -hmm. The other okay. piece that we got to keep reiterating on that is that when you add shelter, at least purchases, home purchases, that's going to be delayed by two months. Right. So that information is actually a little outdated. Right. So what's happening in the market now isn't going to be reflected in that number for 60 days. Exactly. So, um, so 
pricing points towards belief that the Fed will hike the interest rate by only 0.25% on their meeting on what? February 1st. So that will be the lowest wow. increase. Okay. Uh, all of last year, everything was yes. either a half a point or a three-quarter three point. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at only a quarter point increase That would February be amazing. 1st. That would be yeah. amazing. And the interest rates. You guys are going to love the interest rates as we update you here on those. Um, mm -hmm. They're they're pretty dang Definitely good. Definitely moving in pretty the right direction. Good. Yeah. Okay, housing news. Um, the December Fannie Mae sentiment index showed 20%, 21% of consumers believe it's a good time to buy. Okay. Um, that's, that's up from 16%, bad, and that's driven by mortgage rates. Uh, mortgage rates are still twice what they were a year ago, but moderating prices make consumers feel better. Mm -hmm. And we know there's a lot of pent-up demand, so it's yeah. just a matter of time before it gets cut loose. Right. A little good news like that will certainly help. Uh, building. Uh, consumers who believe home prices will fall in the next 12 months increase from 34% to 37%. Mm. Okay. Um, current prices are up 8% year over year. Again, two-month delay. Two-month lag. Uh, yeah. They are certainly not up 8% um, no. currently. No. <laughs> Not um, here in the valley, anyway. And a good indication yeah. of that is seller concessions. Mm -hmm. That's another thing we're following. In right. 42% of the fourth quarter home sales offered concessions. Um, so sellers need to be aggressive and uh, in order to compete and um, to reduce your days on market. And you did a little look at right. Trilogy for days on market current active listings. Yeah. What did you find? Yeah, I was um, doing an email this morning to a client in uh, Trilogy that's considering selling and just happened to glance at days on market and wow, yeah. Um, did a quick average and 87% is the cumulative days on market. 87 um, days on market. 87 days, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's pretty high. That's pretty high. Now there are some high. outliers of 200 something days that yes. are dragging that up. It's, yeah. Uh, and it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to expect no. three months to sell your home, but no. um, to beat the average, you definitely want to price your home aggressively and make sure that it shows very well. Right. That's we, our best advice we can give you. We recommend we've got a stager that we can have kind of walk through your home with you. She does that free of charge and she can do a fluff. She can stage with your own items. She can bring in your uh, stage item, staging items. Um, so there's a lot of options as far as that goes, but we always recommend um, that we have Debbie come and take a look at your house with you. Um, you know, it's always a good idea. Yes. Help it sell quickly. All right, let's move on to uh, the National Association. Wait, we have a commercial break. Oh, that's right. I didn't right. realize you were going to zip through the news no, so quickly. And I and even that's saw awesome. a commercial break and an epic awesome. fail on my fault. Just a I'm quick sorry. commercial break. And do you remember what the commercial break is? Um, you were going to talk about a listing that I has am, yeah. uh, we, popped up. We, uh, it's a new list. It's not a new listing. I'm sorry. It's a new thing that we're adding to our weekly updates is just highlighting a listing. Um, probably it will be in our group, in our um, brokerage that we'll be highlighting. So today's listing is in Vistancia on 137th Avenue. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, mm. 3,039 square feet. That's right. That's a beautiful home. It's a beautiful home. Yeah, it has a nice loft. Um, and did I say three-car garage with solar owned on owned it? Owned solar. That's yes. huge. That'll save you a bunch of money right. uh, on your monthly bills. Right. And uh, it has no back neighbor. It does border uh, kind of a wash area. Yeah, there's a walk way back there right i don't think there is a walkway I don't oh think really can just, walk an back there. It's just an open common area, area. Mm -hmm. okay yeah. nice to not have a back neighbor right winding staircase there's a den downstairs there's actually um so you have the owner suite and another en suite that's right so. you have kind of a little alcove there i always picture bookshelves and a Cozy overstuffed oh, you're leather about the chair. Owner suite. Right, isn't that what you're talking about? No, there's an ensuite also. Oh, so and a, an ensuite. A bedroom with a bathroom 
you know, in it. Right. So if it's um, a multi-gen situation, mm -hmm. need a mother-in-law yeah, mother area. Or a boomerang child uh, coming back to live for a while, but you want them to have some privacy. They're having their own bathroom. So really nice. Yeah. It's a really great it's almost house. a casita, it's, mm -hmm. except it's attached. And it's yeah. upstairs. Right. Yeah, it's upstairs with the other bedrooms. So, yeah. And that right now the home is priced at six thirty nine, six hundred and thirty nine thousand. So you'd like uh, to take a look at that home? Please reach out to us. We'd love to show it to you. There you go. All right. On to the special report. All right. Uh, so we want to kind of look over what um, the chief economist for NAR, Lawrence Yoon, is saying about the state of the market and what he expects for 2023. Yes, give us some good news, Lawrence. Okay, well, right off the bat, mortgage rates, he puts a lot of weight on mortgage rates, so uh, mm -hmm. they will drop to 5.7%, oh. uh, giving home buyers a bit of relief after rates reached 7.08 in November. I remember wow, that. That yeah. was very painful when we were looking at what that equates to a mortgage yeah. payment. Which is what you actually live with hands. is a mortgage payment, yes. and it was uh, it was a little painful. It was daunting. So, yeah. yeah, so we have uh, a lot of relief coming. It looks like in the mortgage rate uh, industry mm -hmm. or, or sector, mm -hmm. and uh, the median price of a home will increase only zero point three percent. Again, Ooh. this is nationally, okay. so it's going to vary. Yeah, uh, but I have market. a feeling we're going to kind of go along with the national average. I'll be surprised if we're not pretty close yeah. to what it is. I think that we have a lot of uh, economic growth throughout the valley, but it's, it's yes. slow growth. It's going to be a little yeah, slow. Yeah, and we have very low unemployment rate. Uh, we're at 3.5%, mm -hmm. so um, we're beating that average as well. So that might push us up a little bit higher, but on average, we're probably going to be pretty flat for next year. Yeah. Uh, less than a percent. For um, 2023, you mean? Uh, for 2023, yeah, it's uh, yeah 0.3%. So that'll put the median home price at 385,800. Oh. Again, that's nationally. Okay. Um, this uh, return to a sort of normalcy is just the boring kind of year that the market and the industry desperately needs, and it's likely to bring back more buyers to the table. Okay. So yeah, pent up demand like we keep talking about. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. know it's there. We know the buyers want to buy. That's right. So talking about home price stabilizing, uh, NAR said it is in its 2023 forecast that prices will stabilize, mm -hmm. but that comes with the caveat that some markets will increase while okay. others will decline. All real estate is local, you right. remind us. So keep that in mind. As, as you uh, pointed out, we have a lot of industry going in, a lot of businesses mm -hmm. coming in, and that brings a lot of employment. And um, so we could do uh, slightly better. Uh, let's see, Yoon reminded that there is no shortage of jobs across the country, as we're reiterating, so that bodes right. well for the future of home sales. Mm -hmm. So that's going to keep the real estate industry strong, uh, right. and we should not expect to see any drastic downturns. Um, mortgage rates peaked in late October that we just talked about, uh, and that uh, ended up about 6.5% after the peaked over 7 and then started dropping down. Mm -hmm. um, that figure is expected to slide further to around 6% early in the year, so we're talking about in the spring. Uh, the drop is a signal that the Federal Reserve is likely to be less aggressive on interest rates because mm -hmm. of calming inflation, which Good. we covered earlier so right. looks like they're only going to increase that rate by 0.25 percent um i think that will bring you says i think that will bring some buyers back into mm -hmm. the market so noting that the rate drop will start to bring buyers back this spring so we probably spring. have a little while to go <laughs> but uh, we should start seeing activity pick up okay um and he reiterates, don't expect any big movement before then, though. Supply shortages and fewer sellers mean that the meaningful price declines are unlikely in most markets. Mm, okay, yeah. The prices won't drop drastically, most likely. Um, and I think some of that has to do with inventory. Is that where you're heading next? Yeah, inventory is going to keep things. Uh, you know, we're still... Although inventory has gone up substantially, we're still no, very, no. very low on it's inventory. Still low. Yeah. So, for sure. 
Okay, uh, when will inventory return? Let's mm-hmm. talk about that a little Let's bit. The long-term that. housing deficit is unlikely to change any time in the near future, but falling mortgage rates could help bring the market for new homes back on track in the okay. short term, according to you. Okay. Uh, builders are increasingly cautious these days because of buyers canceling their contract Ugh. as the home is being built. And we have seen yeah. home builders change their requirements. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're making the down payment it's non-refundable because they're getting so many people backing out um, and one of the reasons you know in some cases buyers were looking at a 3.5 percent mortgage rate when they were calculating their number yeah. and committing to buying a home but by the time they had to get the loan these rates were much higher you said the increase in cancellations means buyers have to have got to be more prudent and cut back on some of the production, but that's a short-term situation. Right. He Builders expects, have to be more prudent. Right. So we uh, expect that to be a right. short-term situation, and, and there should be plenty of inventory. Well, and, and I think a lot of builders have solved this by offering special financing, two, two one buy-downs, um, and I've even seen over the life of the loan, 4.5, 4.99 uh, APR. Yeah, that's very so, attractive. So, yeah, I mean, lock that great rate in. Uh, no, it's not as great as 3.5, but it's much better than 6. Exactly, or so, 7. Oh my or gosh. Or than having to worry about it here in two years. Right, right when it indexes. Yeah. So, yeah, I've, I'm seeing builders head that off a little bit, and I, I'm glad. So in summary, uh, uh, Lawrence Yoon says, I think one will begin to see some upturn towards the second half of next year and Mm. definitely by 2024. He Mm. said the mortgage rate is the lifeblood and it looks like the mortgage rate is trending downward, which is a very good sign. Yeah, mortgage rates definitely controlled the market in 2022. We all know that. Um, There's no doubt about that. And yeah, it's you can't buy as much house or you can't buy the house that you need if it costs too much and prices could come down and are have come down but the interest rate has to come down as well for it to still make sense um i forgot what else i was going to say okay it'll come back (laughs) it'll come back yeah all right let's move on to rates um so we skipped a week so this is from two weeks ago we were we reported the 30 year at 6.518 it has actually dropped to 6.192 excellent excellent again these are indices so Mm -hmm. your rate that you qualify for may be even lower so that's that's great great. news yeah the 15 year has dropped from 5.772 down to 5.315 and the VA has dropped under six now. It was at 6.25 and it is currently at 5.938. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hallelujah, that's fantastic yeah. news. So yeah, those are great, uh, great rates. Moving on to inventory. Now we've been talking about uh, how we expect uh, the beginning of this year that historically a, uh, the, a number of available homes drops for the holiday season and then picks right back up in January. Well, it's valley wide anyway. Anyway, it appears to be a little bit slow taking off. So we were two weeks at 16,290. We're now at 16,163. So pretty flat. We're not seeing a huge uh, jump up. Uh, Peoria up just slightly from 517 to 545 and surprise is really flat 760 to now currently at 767 Mm. available homes. Okay. Now a little closer to home as expected we are seeing that uptick. Uh, Trilogy was at 37 a couple weeks ago they're now at 44. Okay. Um, Price range 489,900 and a high of 1,400,000. Uh, uh, Vistancia Village up quite a bit. They were at 48 a couple weeks ago. Now they're at 63. Hmm. Price range 351,000. Wow. And I'm going to make a change here to the way that I'm reporting this because, um, as you know, David Weekly um, building out in in North Point. Um, they are a very high end builder, and they do put their available spec homes in the MLS. So in reality, the (laughs) top most expensive seven 
homes available in Vistancha Village are actually new construction by David Weekly. Mm, so okay. I'm going to start reporting the highest resale number. Ah, so the okay. highest resale number is 929,900. Okay. And that's really the only community that you have to kind of do that with. Yes. Yeah. That's none of the others. It, it's just makes, it skews yeah. the number too much in my opinion. Yeah. So. Okay. That makes sense. All right. Blackstone Country Club jumped up two. They're at 12 now. 575000 the most affordable. 2750000 is mm -hmm. the most expensive. Cordobella was flat. They're still at 34. 399000 the most affordable. 920000 tops the list. Mm -hmm. Sun City Grand did go up 12. Mm -hmm. They're at 139 available homes now. Very nice supply of, of options there for buyers. Yeah. 298000 is the most affordable, and 1195000 is the most expensive. Okay. Sun City West, as well, was up quite a bit. They're at 183 available homes now, 205000 the most affordable, 869000 the most expensive. Okay. Finally, Westbrook Village ticked up to 40, mm -hmm. most affordable 289900 the most expensive $595,000. Wow, the affordability numbers throughout this West Valley have really, really improved, I feel like. Uh, Vasantia Village, 351, the most affordable. Oh, yeah, for an entry level um, home. Yeah. Yeah, Sunset yeah for a while there. You're under 300,000 yeah, to get into those at places. At one time in the village, 525,000 was the most affordable right. home. Yeah, so that is that good is to see. Good. Trilogy, I think, at one time, the most affordable oh. home was 625,000. So, yeah. mm -hmm. again, it's nice to see. Um, some of those lower price point homes available. Yeah, that affordability coming back. Okay, finally, let's look at uh, what has moved here locally. Uh, Trilogy at Vistancia sold in the last 30 days seven homes. Okay. And uh, Trilogy at Vistancia under contract 11 homes. Okay. So there is activity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a little bit on the slow side. Still but again, slow. If you're very competitive on your price and your home shows very well, your home is going to be one of those that has sold That's in the last right. 30 days and yes. is currently under contract. Mm -hmm. uh, Vistancia Village sold in the last 30 days eight homes, and they have a, a healthy 14 homes under contract. Mm, so nice. we're seeing okay. quite a bit of activity over in the village. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that was all we had for today, right? Yep. Okay. That wraps up our report for this week. Everybody have a blessed mm -hmm. rest of the week, and yes. we will see you again. Take care. Take care. I think it is working too. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Now remember, three histor historical facts. I'm gonna push five it. Five to, to seven in news. Five to seven minutes. I'll go quick, but I'm gonna push it. A couple more historical facts. Mm -hmm.